Hi everybody, Agnes, and today I want to talk about something that I hear a lot reoccurringly in emails, okay, and it's I want a commitment. Now, whether you are male or female, there is nothing wrong with wanting a commitment in a relationship, but I'm going to say this about it. What I hear a lot repeatedly over and over from many people, not everyone, but many people that do want a commitment is, I want a commitment because we've been together for X amount of time. I want to know where this is going. I want to get married. I want to have children. I want to move in together. I want, I want, I want. Now, if you are wanting a commitment and you're coming from a place of self-love, open-handedness, unconditional love, and you are in a place of giving love to your person from an adult space and you are no longer looking to them as the source of your love, no problem. However, what I see a lot is not that. It's people saying I want a commitment because they don't feel secure, they don't feel loved, and they think by trying to get a commitment they're going to then feel those things. But I can tell you, firstly, you're giving someone a burden if that's where you're coming from. If you want a commitment from someone and you're not feeling secure or loved or wanted or a priority or important or that you matter or that you're good enough, you're putting that burden onto the other person. And I can tell you people don't want that in a relationship. Most people would feel that and go, you know what, I'm not ready for a commitment because these, these are the comments I hear you making from those that you've asked for a commitment from. I'm not ready for a commitment. It's not the right time. It's not you, it's me. Um, I've got to make my kids a priority. I have to look after my aging parents. I have to, I'm too stressed from work. These are the excuses that I hear. Now, I'm not saying those things aren't true, but that's life and when you're in a good relationship with someone that you feel is supporting you with their security and their self-love and their self-worth and they don't need everything from you you're more willing to go through those things in a relationship because it's not that you've got this extra thing that you've got to deal with which is a person who's trying to suck love out of you on top of those things hope that makes sense so ask yourself Honestly, those of you that want a commitment, am I really self-loving, secure, and I am in an adult state, meaning unconditional love and giving that to someone, or am I in the second state, which is I don't feel secure, I don't feel loved, and I am going to try and squeeze commitment out of this person so that I can capture them like a corralled animal and then they can't get away from me and then if we're committed to each other then they don't really have the right to you know go and do their things they have to do me first as in be here for me be here for me be here for me all of that is coming from getting okay so ask yourself honestly seriously which category am I in am I in the adult state of wanting a commitment or am I in the child state of wanting a commitment which is coming from getting adult state coming from giving child state coming from getting okay so just thought I'd make that clear because it comes up at least 10 times a week in emails if not more about I want a commitment and they don't spend enough time with me and Remember again, I'm going to say it again and again and again. Everyone is you pushed out. What are you doing? What are you doing to that person? Are you pretending that you say, I love them so much, but you're really trying to suck love out of them, which is for your selfish benefit? Or are you really radiating love to them? You're self sufficient in your self love and you feel good and you've got something to give. Okay? You don't have to tell me. You don't even have to write it in the thread. Just answer that for yourself. Okay? That's it. Hasta la vista.